Okay, um, this is my second video. Hi. Um, I don't have my tripod, so I literally have my camera stacked on just random objects. So this video I wanted to talk about um, the misconceptions of mental illness, focusing in on depression and anxiety. And also, um, I want to put out a disclaimer before I get into this video. I am in a very different headspace now. This is why I'm doing these videos. Um, and I'm not looking for any empathy or sympathy for these videos. It's purely to bring awareness um, to the, the topic where people that do suffer from it, they can relate to it and know they're not alone and people that haven't gone through it can be more informed. Alright, so let me just kind of jump into it. So I'll start off with depression. It is a term that's used quite loosely, um, by myself included. Like we all go like if you had a bad day or whatever, you're like, ugh, like I'm so depressed or I'm so depressed and like we all use it. So people don't think it's as severe as it actually is. It's used in the wrong context and look, we all do it. Um, it's just one of those words. I also feel like I want to explain the way I have felt dealing with depression. It's not the easiest thing to talk about, like it's not the easiest topic to be talking about on YouTube so it's like it's difficult to be recording. Basically what people, like what I would have thought when I was younger or what people may think, another disclaimer, like I'm just speaking on my own personal no experiences, my own opinions. Um, I'm also not a psychologist. Um, I studied psychology in my undergrad, but I'm in no means in any way. Um, I'm not going to be using fancy terms and anything like that because, to be honest, I don't really remember them. It's a scary word. Like it can mean like an extreme, or it can mean like you're sad. Like people just normally think that you're just down. Like you're just down in the dumpster that day. Like everyone goes through that depression is actually, it's a lot more than that. It's not just feeling sad. It's a lot deeper than that. Um, like, the best way to explain it is like, you feel like there's just this darkness in within you. You just feel like it's never going to go away and it's just really heavy. It's scary. Like I used to like, you get, you like, you're just like stuck in your thoughts and I would scream into my pillow with frustration. I just wanted to get this feeling out of me. Like people would be like, oh, you'll get through it, you'll get through it and you will. But when you're in that state of mind, it's like when it's like a really miserable day, like it's just grey clouds and it feels like there's just like a bubble and like you can't, like the sun can't, like like the, there's nothing piercing through those clouds. Like to put it simply, like you cannot see the light at the end of the tunnel, like you are just, you like, you, you're like, I'm never, you, you feel like you're never going to get out of this state. Just those clouds are just over you constantly this like dark feeling inside of you and then there's these clouds over you and like there's just like no escape you're like claustrophobic and you're stuck in your thoughts and they're very negative thoughts I know me when I was going through it um it's, it's, it's actually so hard to talk about I know people will relate to me when I say this but like you feel so worthless like you just feel like you are the worst person in the world and you're not worth anything you genuinely feel that 
people's lives would be better without you. I used to think, oh my god, like, if I wasn't this way, my friends would be so much happier because they're not, like, you're not a, um, what's the word? You're not a liability. You're just constantly, like, you're just in these thoughts and they're like, you're so worthless, you, you'll amount to nothing. You're just so demotivated to do anything. Like, I remember, like, lying in bed and not getting up until, like, the middle of the day and just being so deflated. And I know my coping mechanism was probably, like, eating, like, crap. And then I'd gain weight and then my self-esteem would be really low. It's not as simple as, like, it's depression. Like, there's so many other attributes to it, um, which I don't want to get into. I'm just kind of giving, like, a general idea. Like, I have literally a book of things that I want to talk about. But it's just such a frustrating thing. I'm lucky that I have the people in my life because they help me a lot. If I'm going to say anything um, with this video, if you are going through something like this, make sure you do surround yourself with like a good circle that have good energy and, and good vibes. Um, and that, I'm gonna cry. And if you know someone going through this, like, just be patient. Like, I can only, like, imagine what my friends went through dealing with me. But, like, it's just, you're in, like, you're just, it's just such a, it's just such dark mentality. Genuinely, I look at myself in the mirror and be like, you're so ugly. And it's, it's, I've never said that out loud. That was always something that I struggled with, was that. And you just, you're like, I'm not gonna do anything with my life. You just, you just, you just think all these horrible things like I couldn't even, could barely go to the gym. Like, the one thing that I've always been, that's always got me through things, was I'd go to the gym. And like, you just, you just don't think anything's worth it. You just don't think you're worth it. It's easy to mask. I have a very eccentric personality. <laughs> Anyways, um, like, so I'm loud and I show my confidence and stuff. But like, when I was going through that phase, I didn't, it was a different type of confidence. I have to try be true to myself in this way because I was suffering so much internally. When you put on that mask, you could forget about the depression and everything for the time that you were like, but, but when I could be like myself and be loud and annoying, so I don't know if that clears anything up for anyone. Maybe it doesn't, but that's kind of what it does feel like then. Um, topped with anxiety. So the way people say it is like depression is living in the past. Anxiety is living in the future. So that's why you need a nice balance of living in the present. Well, I think of it like this. This is my personal opinion of anxiety. These are not technical terms, but maybe people can understand it this way. I think there's like the two anxieties. There's anxiety where if someone is walking on a ledge and you get really stressed out and you're like, oh my God, you're giving me anxiety. You say it in like, like a playful kind of way. Like you're like, oh no, stop, that gives me anxiety. Um, like I do it all the time. Like, cause I'm, I'm so dramatic with everything. And it's like a real thing. It is like, cause you get kind of like that sick feeling or whatever. Um, so it's kind of like stress. Then there's anxiety, anxiety. I don't know what else to call it, but I I never had this. Then um, I experienced anxiety, anxiety for the first time. So weird and 
it just triggered it for me was that there was, I don't know if people probably do know about it, the Netflix documentary called The Keepers. I watch all this kind of stuff on Netflix, on YouTube, all the time. Like, I always watch, like, crime. I'm really into crime, like, anything, like, to do with murder. I'm just really fascinated by it, and I'm just always interested in, like, the mind of the killer, like, why they do it. This was the first show that I watched that made me so, so uncomfortable. And I'd started watching it, and the next day, um, my friends are coming over to mine and we were having like a barbecue and it was absolutely lashing. I started getting this feeling like my body just kept like jumping internally and every time it would jump, like it was like my heart or something was like stopping and I felt like I was going to die. And I was like getting so uncomfortable and like I like I remember like the girls being there and like I was sitting there and I was so on edge and I was so uncomfortable and I was like what what the heck is going on? And it kind of just clicked at me and I was like oh my god I'm having an anxiety attack. But it wasn't like really severe where I was like hyperventilating or whatever or anything like that like it was just so like really tame but like I could feel it and like I was like oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna die, like, it was, like, pulsating, like, my body was, like, every two seconds I just felt like I was gonna, like, like, collapse or something. Afterwards, I kind of realised, I kind of, it made sense what was happening, and then I started getting them more and more. When I was in Australia, they got, like, more and more regular, and I used to get them a lot after a night of drinking, so when I was hungover, like, I'd get the feeling so much or like I'd be lying in bed and I'd be so afraid to go to sleep because I didn't think I'd be I'd wake up or like if I'd be walking down the street then I started getting like social anxiety and like the feeling would come over me like if I saw anyone and it just it my anxiety just like transpired into like this just whole ordeal and it was terrifying and I went to visit a psychologist when I was over there and I just wanted to talk about my anxiety because it was so new to me and I was I just I went every time I tried to explain it to someone I was like it feels like I'm gonna die and I just felt like, I felt stupid saying that because it sounded so dramatic, but that's literally what it felt like. So I remember she drew silhouette of a person. So she was like, what's happening when you're having an anxiety attack is it's the veins, I'm someone that's a doctor is probably gonna catch me out on this, but I just remember her explaining it to me like this. I'm probably getting it a bit wrong, but anyways, bear with me. So she was like, it's the veins and arteries throbbing. So the blood is like moving up, shouldn't do that. Um, moving like up and like stopping and starting. And she's like, that's what it is. So it's like your, the pressure, like all your blood pressure, like going and stopping and like, you know, it's con it's like constricting. I'm so bad at biology, I don't know. So it's like, that's kind of what's happening. And it just made sense to me. And I was like, oh my God, like, it's not just like in my head kind of thing. It's like a, it's physically happening through my body. So yeah, that's kind of the way I describe the two of them, if that makes sense. Um, I know people have different forms of anxiety. And then to add to that mixture of anxiety and depression, I'd get the worst paranoia on the planet. Okay, exaggeration. Um, but like I thought that everyone hated me, like this is just like a mix of the two, like I was like everyone hates me, they all think I'm a loser, like I wouldn't be able to talk to my friends because I'd be like they don't like me and you'd make up stories in your head and like that they don't like you and like I couldn't go into people's messages or anything like because I'd just be so paranoid and like I'd be so anxious and like I couldn't interact with people. It was just, it was just so, it was just so awful. On a night out, like, I'd get myself so drunk that I couldn't remember. And then I'd wake up the next day and I would be so anxious. I wouldn't go to my phone. I would leave my phone for two days because I'd be afraid of what I posted online. I would be afraid of people messaging me. 
because like obviously alcohol makes it gives you the fear so this is the fear times a billion um now i don't care what i post if it offends you that's fair unfollow me <laughs> like many already have <laughs> um, you're just in such a dark place like and you do things to make to show the pain that you're going through because it's not visible it's just not nice I'm just doing these videos now so that people can see like I've gone through it and like you can come out of it like people experience it worse than me people experience it less than me it doesn't mean that it's any less important it's so hard to talk about like I, like I literally build myself up to like talk about this but I feel like I'm getting more comfortable talking about it there's obviously things that I'm not comfortable talking about like I'm still quite a personal person personal person private person <laughs> I hope that this has enlightened people I hope that this has given people a bit of hope one thing that you need to do is take it day by day full circle live in the present but i hope that you like this video there is more to come i'm hoping to upload once a week but i'm trying to get a schedule because obviously i'm in college and i'm working so i'm just trying to balance everything and just get into a routine yeah hopefully this video will be up tomorrow um it's just that it takes a while to upload and I still need to figure out how it isn't going to take that long. If anyone has any advice, please let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching and bye-bye.